welcome to talk through aviation this is captain pk yadav welcome back guys as uh, i gave you some uh, you know compulsory reporting points and uh, stations to find out your concern atc over there all right so we have discussed enough uh, guys uh, about uh, charts we have practiced enough about uh, charts let's discuss one more uh, situation uh, let's assume uh, one situation and react accordingly we will discuss again in details but uh, this is very interesting so i cannot wait uh, to tell you about this so if uh, we are flying from uh, kolkata to guwahati and i am telling you guys this is chart number 8 and at rat sahi you come to know that bangladesh air space is closed and uh, what need to do now so guys uh, let's have a look in chart number 8 and uh, we were flying from kolkata to guwahati all right so let me tell this so we were flying from here to guwahati so this is what uh, we were flying i think this was be the best we were flying from here and uh, here so from kolkata to guwahati and uh, what happened suddenly okay so guys we are at rajshahi and at rajshahi we come to know bangladesh air space is closed guys so how to react in that particular situation we should aware and i'm telling you now guys uh, in case uh, if uh, any air space is closed you cannot enter in it in any situation do remember guys so we will get these kind of situations in uh, for the future too let me give you a bit uh, idea so it would be your bangladesh air space completely this uh, this is your bangladesh area guys and this is now closed okay and if this is closed it means you cannot enter in any situation this is how we have to deal uh, with the this uh, particular situation anywhere if air space closed we have to divert the flight guys so how we would be going uh, we would be going from like uh, this is your rat sahi and from rat sahi you will go to katihar then kishangan then your bagdodra this is the end of our india border so then you can go from uh, opimo and uh, uh, dokum and guwahati so we have to divert this so guys this is uh, why i am discussing uh, here about uh, this bangladesh air space closure why i am dealing with this recent example is guys recently modi ji flew from india to usa by using pakistani air space so why he used pakistani airspace in in place of afghanistan airspace because guys afghanistan airspace is uh, closed it had closed its uh, airspace uh, for any commercial use the new regime in pakistan announced the closure of its airspace on august 16 just after the taliban took full control of the nation guys so in these kind of situation we cannot enter in that uh, airspace because we do not have any facility we do not have any system over there guys do remember guys this is not part of your charts but yes uh, you come to know about chart number 8 you come to know about air space closures you come to know about bangladesh air space so this is how we would be dealing guys in place in case of so many things we would be uh, getting diverted uh, from our route so we will learn about uh, all these things one by one now you know the day has uh, arrived uh, we would uh, learn how to make transmission calls okay because we have covered all the related topics and all guys uh, because of this uh, condition right now in afghanistan air space modi ji didn't uh, use this afghanistani air space because uh, this is not uh, open for commercial flights so whenever something which is not open for commercial flights we vip movement also uh, does not happen in that yes military aircraft can go there but not for the commercial flights okay so this is how we deal that's why modi ji used uh, pakistani air space we got the approval we have to take the prior approval from the concerned uh, air space guys from the concerned authority and uh, there was a time okay when uh, pakistani authorities denied access of their air space uh, for flying somebody vvip from our country okay i do not remember the exact 
so uh, you know this is how we deal and uh, recently uh, pakistani prime minister also flew by using indian airspace uh, when he was uh, flying from pakistan to bangladesh all right so this is the scenario guys this is the real scenario this is how we deal with the airspace closer and this is how we would be dealing in our exam too so this was the current example that's why i'm discussing it uh, over here so now we are done with the charts and i told you what all we have covered already so we are good to go uh, for the transmission calls we would learn now what are uh, important technique what we need to keep it in our mind while making transmission call and uh, what we need to avoid and what should be our rate of speed so these are the basic things about transmission we would learn now uh, in our further video guys okay guys welcome on board to make calls now uh, we would be enjoying calls now we will learn what is the real transmission and how the pilot and atc talk to each other guys okay guys so take care and bye up now here you go your checklist like subscribe and share Thank you for watching.